Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tech Talk with Baba Femi. If you are working with the Azure report, you know how important collaboration is in software development. In this video, we are going to be diving into one of the most crucial parts of teamwork, pull request. We are going to be covering how to create a pull request, which we also refer to as PR in Azure report. We move on to how to review, approve, and merge this PR. Then we'll wrap it up with best practices to keep your code clean and error free. By the end of this video, you will be managing PRs like a pro and streamlining your team's workflow. Let's get started. I am currently logged on to my Azure DevOps organization. Before we go ahead to start creating a pull request, there are some things we need to do. At the minimum, we need to create a new branch from our main branch. We need to update the code, then proceed to create this pull request. Before we go into this, let me even explain what a pull request is. When we talk about a pull request, we are talking about a proposed change to our repository. So when a developer finishes work on a future branch or a cloud engineer or an infrastructure engineer trying to deploy like a new infrastructure, they open what we call a pull request to merge into the main branch. You know, so when you update your code on your future branch, what's going to happen is that particular feature branch is going to have like one commit ahead, two commit ahead, based on the number of you know commit you've added to that particular branch. So this process, what it does is allow your other team member when you open a pull request, it allows other team members to be able to review your code for any issue or for any error, be able to comment on changes before merging, and to be able to approve or deny that particular modification. So pull requests ensure that only well-reviewed high-quality code makes it into your repository. Now let's go ahead to create this particular pull request. Like I said, at the minimum, you need to create a branch, then update the code, then create the pull request. I'm going to be using the DevOps roadmap project that you currently see. Within that project, we do not have like, you know, um, real um, live code. However, I have only got a readme file, which was added to that my project when I initialized that project. So what I'm going to do is going to update this particular readme file. So before I go into updating that, I need to create a new branch. So what I'm going to do is just to go back to the branches. Yeah. Then from here, I click on new. Then I'm going to create a future branch and say, let's say PR. Yep. So if you have a work item that you have actually opened for that particular feature, you can actually link that particular work item. That's the best thing. This depends on the branch policy within your repository. So I'll go ahead to create that particular uh, branch now. Now you can see my branch and the main branch are on the same level. We've got zero behind, zero ahead, meaning the same code or the same file that we have in here is what we have in here without any modification. So now the main thing is for us to now edit the remaining file. So I'm just going to go in there. This it's not the best place to edit this. You might want to do this locally, you know, by cloning your your repository to your local system, and and editing those or editing the code base from there. But for me, for now, just because I'm just working on this particular PR, you know, I'm just going to edit it from here. Um, let's see what we can edit. Let me just add edit by Baba Femi. 
And once that is done, the same way you are going to do these on your local um, Git, where you are going to do the Git add, then the Git commit, then push back to your origin, you know, uh, that's the same thing that will be happening here. Click on the commit, and it's going to tell you to fill in a commit message. So here I'm going to go with the initial commit message, and we are adding this to the branch, which is the PR branch I've created. Then if you have added your work item, you're going to be seeing it here. Because I do not have a work item for this, I'm just going to try to do uh, to to click on the commit. Now immediately I committed. You can see Azure has actually suggested I should actually create a pull request because now there is a difference between my main branch and my future branch. So if I go back to those branches, you will see that this particular branch is actually a like a commit I had. So I'm just going to create the pull request from here. You can also do that, you know, by clicking it. The same message commit message has been added so here is where you now add the description so best practice is to have a, a good description to show what you've actually added so i can say just 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 to say added buffing as editor on on readme.md so we can we can have the have it like that now here is where we now had our reviewer so if i'm adding a reviewer here that means that this is the person i want you know um to give access to to review if this person if i add that person as a required reviewer if that person doesn't approve the pull request you know i will not be able to complete this particular pull request you can also add an optional reviewer but even if that person does not review, you know, and the main or the required reviewers actually review, you can go ahead to, to merge that particular pull request. So, but this is best done by setting up a branch policy where you have, you know, a required reviewer or an optional reviewer added automatically. Then this is where you have your work item. Like I said, if you have added anyone, is going to show up here when you're creating anything you want to have at least a work item added then the tag if you have a tag you want to add also and which is fine so that is done i'm just going to create this pull request without adding any reviewer because i've got only this particular user within this my tenant or this my azure devops organization so going at the ahead with that so you can see if you have added any reviewer, it's going to be here. So I can click here to add a reviewer, a required reviewer, or, 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 or an optional reviewer. So if you have set up a branch policy, if that reviewer doesn't, you know, um, complete their own review and go ahead to approve, we will not be able to complete this particular pull request. So yeah, we can also see that the pull request, the work item option then the tag option. So let's say I'm also the reviewer. I can come here and say this is good. You know, I can add a comment and or you I can you know suggest you doing anything based on what I've actually reviewed within that particular file. And I say, okay, edit by Baba Femi. Yeah, that is fine. Why not change it to edited by Baba Femi? I can go back there and say um okay uh make it edited by baba femi i can say yeah this is good um but change the statement to edited by baba femi so you can have something like that and you know i, I can update that particular comment on that pull request you know so before you go ahead to complete that particular request i can do that and i can i can also approve it tentatively um looking at the fact that okay yeah, okay you can that is fine but if i have suggested i would 
you know, want you to resolve that particular suggestion before you go ahead to um, um, uh, complete that that particular pull request. So if everything is fine, uh, as a reviewer, I've checked uh, whatever the person has actually, you know, done, and um, I can see the commit, I uh, can see the file, then I go ahead to approve. One thing you should never do, and that's why I keep clamoring for the fact that you need to set up a branch policy, is whoever has actually create, created the pull request should not be able to approve their own pull request. So if everything is fine, then you can go ahead to at least um, complete the pull request. While you are trying to complete the pull request, there are some other things you need to also do. What is the merge type that you want to actually use in this particular pull request? In my next video, I'm going to be talking about merge and merge conflict. So I'm going to talk about the differences when it comes to all this merge type that you are having there. Then I'm, for now, I'm going to stick with the merge node fast forward. Other option is if you have a work item associated with this pull request, you know, you want to, you know, complete that particular work item. Then also, you can go ahead to delete that feature branch if you feel like whatever has been done within that pull request, you know, um, is completed and um, that code has been approved by, you know, like your, your head of department saying this is good, um, this is, you know, this is fine. You can go ahead to merge that particular pull request, you know. so. You can go ahead to delete this particular um, branch. One of the reasons is we do not want to have a step branch within our repo. So I will always advise you go ahead or to check this particular option. The last one is if you do if you want to customize the merge commit also, you can do that from here, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Since that is it, then I'm going to complete the pull request. Before we wrap this up, here are some of the best practices. You know, keep your PR small and focused so that it can be reviewed easily. You know, write clear commit message. You know, I made mention of the fact that within your description, you want to describe what has actually been updated within, you know, that particular. Look, you can see that pull request has been committed, you know, now. You now know how to create, review, and approve and merge a pull request in Azure. You know, drop a comment below if you have any questions. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. You know, to stay updated. In my next video, like I said the other time, I'll cover how to merge and resolve merge conflict. So stay tuned, and see you in the next video. Bye.